Welcome everyone to your favorite Minecraft server, Buscraft. I'm gonna be talking about a brand new server, the prison server. I'm not gonna be making this long for you guys, I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible, so let's get started. As soon as you join the server, you will spawn here. This path has everything you need to know about the server, but I'm going to go through it all in case you don't like to read. Alright, so you start the server with this pickaxe that has some enchants. So as you can see here, you have your level from 1 to 100, your energy, and your enchant slots. You have a maximum number of enchant slots and every time you level up, the enchant slots are increased. Pickaxe upgrades. There are two main things you need for pickaxe upgrades. Energy and tokens, which can both be obtained by mining. You can also get energy from crates or events, which can be used using slash apply item. As you see, the pickaxe now has the energy that I used. Energy is used to level up your pickaxe and tokens are used to buy enchants. You can use slash BE to open your pickaxe menu. Here you can level up your pickaxe when you have enough energy and you can see how much energy you need for the next upgrade. And you can use your tokens to buy enchants for example as by efficiency which will increase your efficiency. We also have a really cool feature which is slash skin. In here you will find lots of skins that you can use for your pickaxe which can be obtained through different tasks. For example, this can be obtained from the ruby crate and this can be obtained when you reach level 100. Some of them need to be bought from the store using game points which brings us to the next topic. Game points. Game points can be obtained from events, quests and playing the game. You can then buy in-game cosmetics using these game points. Here's an example of the pickaxes that you can buy. Alright, payouts. We love you guys and we want to spread some of that love, so we'll be giving out payouts based on special tasks. Payouts are renewed every season. Crystals. Crystals are used to give you buffs. You can obtain these crystals from trading. Let me show you how it works. Let's go to slash warp trade, which is going to take you to Hank. Hank over here is your best friend. As you can see, you can trade shards for crystals. There are 5 crystal tiers, each with their own buffs and debuffs. Now you're going to ask, how do we get shards? If you look in your pickaxe menu, there is an enchant called shard collector. Every time you upgrade that, it increases the chance of getting shards. Once you obtain a crystal, you can use slash crystal add to apply your crystal on your pickaxe. Robots. Robots can be used to mine tokens automatically in your plots. You must be online for them to be working. There are several robot types, the higher the robot, the more tokens it gets. To get robots, you need to warp trade again, and you're going to find Aurora right behind Hanks, which trades robots for shards. After you use your robot, you can right click it to view its options. You can upgrade its efficiency or fortune, you can also pick it up, and of course, you can withdraw your money. Rank ups. Every time you rank up on the server, you get boosts, tokens, and much more rewards. Do yourself a favor and do slash auto rank up so you can rank up automatically. Now for the most important thing, mines. You can go to your own mine by typing slash mine. Over here is where you'll spend most of your time. Every time you rank up, your mine will increase in size. And another cool feature is fishing. Oh, hello there. Anyways, you can do slash warp fishing to start fishing. Fishing is another way of getting loot and tokens. Over here you can view your status, your level, fish caught, and longest fish. We also host lots of fishing tournaments. Here's the type of fish that you can get. There are bronze fish, silver fish, diamond fish, and mythical fish. Then you can take the fish that you caught and you can take it to Bloba over here, which is going to buy all of your fish. You can also find treasure chests while fishing, which comes with really great rewards. And this should cover everything you need to know about our new server. Hope I made it as easy and simple for you guys, and I'll catch up with our new updates.